So, uh, welcome to another uh, Bev Rambles. I hope that you guys enjoy this one. Um, this is going to be kind of interesting to see uh, what other people's opinions are on stuff. Uh, if you want to get involved in the debate, then feel free to leave a comment below at any time. Feel free. Um, and place as many comments as you like, because I'm really not bothered. But if you if you do genuinely have something to say about it, then feel free to comment about it. Um, so in this one, in uh, is, is this drunken rambles? Is this what I called it? I think it is. Um, I'm drinking vodka again. I mean, would you believe it? This one is produced in the UK. La la la. It's actually from Liverpool. So. Yay to Liverpool. We produced vodka. And it's actually not that bad. And I'm having it in a pint glass with orange juice. In fact, that needs to topping up a little bit with more vodka. Um, the reason that I'm literally having pints to drink tonight is because um, I've had the week from hell. Which, you know, some of you guys may well have seen my video that went up the other day about it. Um... And so, yeah, it's just genuinely been a really shit week, and I've not enjoyed it. And I've got to say, my brain has actually done quite well, because I think I've blanked most of it out, because it was only today that I was sat in on my... Oh, my God. It is actually Friday. Like, it was only the other day that I was opening up the letter, and there was my bad news. If you want to go and have a look at the video that I put up the other day, then go back to my account because I've had enough of putting links in. Oh my god. Um, okay, so let's go on to uh, new stories to talk about because there is so much going on at the moment. Of course, the main one to talk about is to do with what's happening over in Egypt. Now, Egypt is a bit of a concern for me at the moment. Not because I'm in Egypt or kind of anywhere close to it, but this, this in my mind in my way of thinking, this could lead to kind of a world war. I mean, let's face it, you've got Egypt, which is all over the news at the moment. You've still got Syria, which is kind of almost the same as Egypt, with, like, people just fighting every single day, hundreds of people killed every single day. This is unbelievable stuff that is happening, and it is happening in other parts of the world that the, the media just don't seem to report on. And I think it's about time that there was something that gave in all of these things. You know, we had the uprisings in Egypt, they overthrew the government. People seemed to be kind of happier about that. The Muslim Brotherhood got voted in and, you know, they started doing things that people didn't like. People took to the streets and said, we're not happy about this, you know, and we're going to keep coming out until politics is the way that we want it. And now we've seen what is happening, um, which is just disgraceful, in my opinion. Um, I don't actually think there is need for it to go to the point that people end up getting killed because of all of this, but other people will think different. I have, because I do kind of keep an eye on the news and what happens during the week and all that sort of stuff, I have had a few friends that have asked me what's going on in Egypt, like why is it kicking off? The only thing that I can find out about this, and I'm uh, told this by several different sources, is that it's to do with the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the government that got voted in but have since kind of been overthrown out of power. And they're kind of retaliating against these people that did the uprising, but the people who did the uprising have got the support of the uh, army in the country. So the army is basically fighting these other people and it's it's a complete and utter mess. That's the way that I understand it to be at the moment. I, I could well be wrong. I don't know about this. The thing is, though, it's, it's one of them things like how many people have to die before these people get around the table and talk it out? Because, I mean, that's all it's going to boil down to at the end of the day. You know, that's what is going to have to happen. And whether it involves 10,000 people dying or one person dying, it's it's still one person too many, you know? It, it doesn't have to resort to people dying to sort this situation out. But there are some people who are just pig-headed and they won't get around the table and talk it out. They should do, but they won't, and it's ugh, people. They do my head in. Um, 
but yeah, I mean that it, that is like unbelievable news at the moment, and I I can't imagine living in in a place like that. And the only reason that I think this is going to world war is because we have that much unrest in places like Egypt and Syria and you know them sort of areas that you know something's got to give you know and more and more the west keeps getting involved in this and it's like well where where does this end you know i've been thinking personally i've been thinking this is going to go to a war for quite some time now and i'm my opinion still hasn't changed on that so we'll see where this one goes other news which is kind of a little bit closer to home to me and to people in the uk is to do with uh fracking which is just an unbelievably stupid topic and it is so controversial at the moment like people are really passionate about this shit look i'll put my opinion out there i am against fracking i've looked into it i know what the action is i know the ins and outs of it i'm against it i'm dead set against it the reason that i'm against it is because um a town which isn't too far away from me uh, probably about a year or two ago now, uh, we started experiencing earthquakes. Now, the United Kingdom isn't on the edge of one of these plates. We basically don't get earthquakes unless there's something like majorly fucking up underneath. Um, and Blackpool had quite a few earthquakes within a short period of time. And a lot of people were going, well, why are we getting earthquakes? You know, I mean, these aren't major earthquakes. You, you, you could feel the ground moving things in the house would fall off shelves that sort of thing but it wasn't like people dying sort of uh, scale but we found out eventually that it was down to fracking there was a site near blackpool that was carrying out fracking and it was causing blackpool to have these tremors now if that isn't a signal straight away like uh we might need to stop fracking i don't know what is now basically what fracking is is these there is apparently allegedly there is this gas in certain parts of the united kingdom and if we go down and bring out the rock we can get the gas out and blah 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 and then how how do we get around it because i mean what we've done is if you imagine like the crust of the earth is here like say say this is the town where i live this is the ground underneath us right and then the fracking comes here and it goes underneath and it, it carves out all of this area here so we've basically got nothing here well, what what's this bit resting on? It isn't resting on anything. So the way that they get around it is they put in water, which is from our tap system, um, our tap water. I mean, basically, we we kind of get notices through the post every year. We're going on a water shortage. You can't use your hose pipe. You know, just don't drink as much water. Um, and we get them through new enough every year. But they want to put this tap water in, and that would fill it up. Wouldn't support ground enough but there we go and uh, what happens to this water when it goes in i mean surely it would just go stagnant well actually some of the chemicals that the water is exposed to can basically mean that the water then becomes uh, if, if you drank it or that sort of thing you could actually get cancer from water like that's that's basically what this boils down to like you can get ill from this water that they're putting in like yeah that's great isn't it i mean you want holes under your house, filling with that stuff, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Is that just me? But um, so, why is this coming to the news recently? Well, because our Prime Minister David Cameron has turned around and said that the public of the United Kingdom need to start supporting fracking more, and that you know it could supply us with like what seven years worth of gas or something like that. I don't give a shit. I'd rather that we imported our gas from other countries that are dumb enough to do fracking. You know, I don't want my house to be on ground that isn't actually supported by anything underneath. It was only about two weeks ago that we saw a, a hotel in Florida went into a sinkhole. Well, what was that sinkhole caused by? It's caused by the ground underneath basically not existing and the hotel just went straight into it. What's to stop that from happening? Worse than that, if, if the fracking took place under where I live in this flat, if this flat went into that sinkhole, I'm going to be surrounded by water that if I inhaled it, I could get cancer. So I'm even less keen on it now. So, of course, what has been happening, of course, is that you get these protest groups that go along and um, there is one area, I can't remember where it is, where is it? Uh, West Sussex uh, have set up 
Um, and they've gone, they basically set up a camp next to this site where they're doing fracking. Because of the amount of people that are turning up, it's estimated over a thousand people are turning up by the end of today. Um, the operation has actually had to be scaled back. The company have had to stop fracking. Now, the company have turned around and said, well, as soon as we get the go ahead, we're going to start back up again. But trust me, that is possibly the worst thing to say to activists because they will just sit out there until you admit we're not doing it anymore. See where I'm coming from with this? So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the people that support fracking, of course, are going, well, you know, the United Kingdom, it would be cheaper for us to make our own and blah, 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 blah. I couldn't disagree anymore. You know, I mean, we're already paying through the nose for gas anyway. Prices would not come down if we were making our own. You know what this gas industry is like. I know what this gas industry is like. I mean, a couple of years ago, I was doing door to door sales um, for a well known. Um, I, I won't name the name because they could possibly get me done for um, saying their name, but um, it's a well known French company. Another one. Um, <clears throat> and I did door to door knocking for them, <clears throat> and I got to see some things that were like to do with the profit margins. Now at the time that I was doing that they didn't invest in advertising it was down to the people doing the door knocking to get these customers to sign up and that was great. The company has since started doing the advertising and is making a lot of money from this. I mean I think the year that I was working for them um, they reported a profit of two million pounds or something like that and people were like that's not bad. I mean you, you as, as a salesperson you know, you'd, you'd get people on the front doorstep and they would go, well, yeah, but, you know, you're charging that much and you're still making, like, £2 million a year on that, like, after everyone else has been paid. Like, where's the justice in that? And you, you'd turn around and say, well, you know what, look at British Gas, how much are they making? Exactly. Um, but, yeah, so uh, there is basically a lot of corporate greed that goes into fracking. You know, these companies are going to make money out of it. And to be honest with you, I'm not too keen on my home um, being put at risk because of corporate greed. I am completely against that idea. Unless they're going to give me free gas. But I don't think they would. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I actually don't, I couldn't disagree with fracking even more. Um, I think that our energy supply needs to come from other places. You know? There was a company around here, uh, Walkers, who wanted to build a wind turbine on their own site, where they already have a factory anyway, and to be fair, to, to give them credit, I mean, walkers are doing shitloads to, like, reduce on their carbon emissions and that sort of thing. I, I worked in there, I have had quite a few jobs. I worked in their factory for quite a while. Their, wa their toilets are filled with rainwater, so it, they don't need water coming in from the mains. They have uh, filter systems on, like, um, the... I just called it the deep fat fryer, which is basically what it is. But the the, the deep fat fryer, where the potatoes go through to come in, like to be turned into crisps, they have filters on the output from that. So if you do get any steam off it, it is literally water, and there's nothing bad in it. They wanted to build this wind turbine at such and such a height, and people objected to it because it would ruin the landscape. I'm not being funny. It's an industrial estate. What landscape really is there? on an industrial estate and I'm not being funny but we are going to have to sacrifice some of our beautiful views um, to start making some energy you know I mean th this this wind turbine that they were going to put up could actually keep the factory running like all the lights on everything running for like a couple of days at a time from like one night's worth of spinning or something like that you know it, it was really good and it would have kept the factory going in fact, I think they did say at one point that it could actually put electric back into the into the grid, um, into the electric grid. So I don't see why we can't now seriously start looking at wind farms, at uh, water turbines, that sort of thing. You know, let's let's look to nature and go, what the fuck have you got to give us? So fracking for me is completely off the table. I think uh, David Cameron is kind of a bit despicable but typical uh, of a, a government leader to be turning around and putting companies and business first rather than what the people of the country actually would would think. I mean, 
at the end of the day, put it put put yourself in this situation, right? If they're going to frack under your house to get gas, that they're still going to make a profit on you buying that gas, but then it puts your home at risk because the ground underneath might literally give way into a sinkhole. Are you still going to be supportive of fracking? I don't think you would. Um, anyway, I need more to drink. Jesus. Um, moving on from last time, <coughs> um, one of the things that is still making news is Russia. Are we are we surprised? I think not. There is something that I want to I want to put out there straight away because um, I think that they are despicable for doing this. But the BBC, it's high time I addressed you and your news. Um, I was watching BBC News today, like I normally do, just to kind of see what's happening in Egypt, and you know they've got cameras there to see what they're seeing, that sort of thing. And uh, they mentioned about a um, javelin thrower, whatever the fuck she is. <clears throat> Basically, this idiot from Russia turned around and, um, in an interview, well, I say an interview, she kind of took time out of her busy schedule of winning um, to make these comments. But she basically said that she agrees with the Russian government and, um, you know, the, the laws are right, basically. And then today turned around and said, uh, I, English isn't my first language, I must have been misunderstood. You know, I, I don't support the persecution of LGBT people, but then went on to say, um, you know, you should basically ex um, respect Russia's laws. And it's like, well, no, because Russia's laws are leading to the persecution of LGBT people. So maybe you're a little bit dumb. Um, but the BBC News has said that, you know, she's come out with this other statement and she, she doesn't, you know, English isn't her first language. And, you know, she said that in a thing and she doesn't support the persecution of the LGBT community. Yeah, but she went on, didn't she, BBC? She she carried on. Why didn't you? Hmm? I mean, moving on a little side note here on the BBC, I'm kind of more disappointed at the news as well because the day that the uh, laws changed in the United Kingdom, the day that the Queen actually signed in um, marriage equality for the United Kingdom, same-sex marriage, the day that that was signed in, what was on BBC News? You know, this channel that's meant to bring you the breaking news as and when it happens. Was it gay marriage? Was it? Do I get one? No. I think I saw about it on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Didn't ever actually see anything on BBC News about it. Apart from on the BBC website where they put it on as breaking news and said Queen has signed it in. Uh, did it get its own page so that people could read what had happened? Uh, I don't think it did, did it? No, oh, strange. Um, and then, of course, there's these comments that um, this fucking weirdo's come out with, and it's just like, yeah, maybe see, I'm on to you. Um, in, in my opinion, I still disagree with Russia's laws. I disagree with any. Um, I dis I still disagree with the Olympics. In fact, I'm even more pissed off with the Olympics because they turned around during the week and said that if there is any athlete <coughs> who basically goes to stand up for the LGBT community in Russia, not only will they face the Russian legal system, they will also face disciplinary action by the Olympic Committee themselves. Well, who the fuck are you, Olympic Committee? I mean, really. Um, on a little note on that point, you know, the Olympic Committee say that um, athletes cannot take part in... in this sort, of, um, this sort of activity and that sort of thing, and how you know the Olympics isn't about what is happening in, in other countries and um, their laws and that sort of thing. It is just about the competition, which is fair enough. Only when uh, Hitler was starting his persecution of the Jewish people, um, oh now, did the Olympics do nothing about that? Um, no, they didn't, actually. They actually wrote to Hitler and said, would you please basically stop doing what you're doing while the Olympics is on for two weeks? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head if Hitler agreed or not. You know, they may have come to some kind of compromise about that. But it just goes to show that in history, people who work on the Olympic Committee have gotten involved in political shit. And I'm sorry, but to turn around and say, you will face our disciplinary action as well as Russia's, well... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You know, you've completely lost my respect for the Olympics. 
I genuinely wouldn't have anything to do with them now. And I couldn't actually recommend anyone to have anything to do with them ever again after coming out with comments like that. I mean, that's genuinely disgraceful. It's kind of excusing the Russian government and all of these people are actually going out and doing the killings, but it's excusing people going out and killing people based on their sexual orientation. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Olympic Committee at the moment. They're kind of like in my black book. I don't actually have a black book. I need to get a black book. It would be full quite quickly. Um, but, yeah, so there we go. And that's kind of the news. Um, oh, the CIA have also acknowledged that Area 51 exists. <clears throat> not before time. Um, so, yeah. I don't know exactly what they've said, um, but... Yeah, we've known that Area 51 exists for ages. A little bit awkward. But anyway, so thank you very much for um, joining in with this. I um, hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, and I will speak to you soon. Don't forget to leave comments below if, you, if there is anything that I've spoken about in this topic or in this video that you would like to talk about or you have an opinion on. Whatever it is, just write your comments below and... Like I say in the video on the homepage of this channel, let's get the debate started on this, you know? Let's talk these things through, people. Let's actually do it. Um, but yes, yeah, so thanks for watching, <coughs> and I will see you guys later.